Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sakura Fantasy. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Dukes, what are you doing? Not one of the Sakura games. You can't. You can't fall into that pit. And I get it. But I did get a lot of messages saying, number one, that this was much shorter because it's happening in chapters. And number two, that it actually had really good plot. I'm going to put plot in quotation marks because I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it right now. For those of you who don't know, there's um, there are other Sakura games. Uh, most notably Sakura Spirit, which is basically like a plot what plot game. It's just like, here's an excuse for lots of boobs, which is exactly what I'm expecting out of Sakura Fantasy. But everybody's telling me it's not true. It's got good story in quotation marks. So we're going to find out. Also, you play a lady. So you're a lady trying to touch other ladies, which is fun. Uh, let me go to config because I want to see if there's boob bouncing. Uh, no, step about messages volume um interesting no booby bouncers we're on the preferences menu interesting no booby bouncers okay all right let's jeez <laughs> let's do this start <laughs> raylan raylan are you there are you going to wake up now i wake to someone shaking me like a rag doll raylan raylan wake up kira is coming as I come to, I find it's Gwyn shaking me senseless. Oh, are you Gwyn? Wait, who's- is one of these me? Is this me? Is one of these me? They're both adorable. So, I don't know. Well, we'll just- we'll just go with- Uh, Gwyn, what do you sound like? I you one of these? Cause I kinda wanna make it one of these. Get your armor on, she'll be here any minute! Panicking, I quickly begin to strap on my plates. The other novices are panicking too, the clanking of armor being hastily thrown on, echoing throughout the barracks bedroom. <laughs> ah, I see now. We didn't need a booby bouncer because we are deciding whether or not we're gonna wear panties. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh... Put my armor faster without underwear or risk it and get fully dressed um you know what whatever in the true spirit of a soccer game i'm in a hurry maybe i can risk not wearing underwear i neglect to put on my unmentionables if there's one thing i'm thankful for it's that there's no wind in the barracks thankfully i managed to get my armor on just before i hear heavy footsteps coming down the hall gwyn makes sure she returns to her bunk looking as disciplined as she can i also try my best to look battle ready i think that's me oh i'm cute I'm just in time to see Kira, our instructor, march through the door. As always, she looks powerful and boobalicious and domineering. Every novice in the room completely freezes. With predatory eyes, Kira begins to inspect us. Merely feeling them pass over you is enough to send a shiver down your spine. She doesn't really scare me as much as she does with the other novices, though. Good to see that we're all ready, for the most part, anyway. As I was walking up here, I heard a lot of clanking happening, almost as if someone was rushing to put their armor on. One novice lets out a small wince at those words. There's no hiding anything from her. She knows when you haven't woken up on time. Your outfit is ridiculous! I can't get over- I'm like- I don't understand if- is she wearing, like, a nylon outfit? <laughs> I'm just- I don't know what's happening on her body, but- it's- it's Rakakulous. It's Rakakulous. We all agree, right? It's Rakakulous outfit. Okay, cool. I wonder what our resident Farseer has been doing today. Why does everyone presume the worst of me because of my gift? I'm not using my gift at all today, instructor, I swear. I will use my gift as I please. I do what I want. I'll use my gift as I please. <laughs> I had to. Is that so? The contempt in her voice cuts like a razor. You're all up, at least, so let's begin our mornings as we always do. Collect your weapons and proceed to the courtyard immediately. I better not catch you daydreaming today, Raylan. She always singles me out every morning. Why does she get so upset that I do a bit of far-seeing every now and then? By the way, you've got your shin guards on the wrong way around. I better not see that next morning, too. As I look down slowly, I see she is totally right about my shin guards. Whoops! Embarrassed, I take them off and begin to rearrange them into their proper place. When Kira is finally out of the room, Gwyn approaches me. Ah, you should not sleep in late. 
Whenever I break a rule, Gwyn is the first one to scold me. She's so ridiculously well-disciplined, it's so annoying. You look like you are farsaying. It's the same strange look. Oh, I can't farsay in my sleep, though. It requires way too much concentration. But that's what you were doing, so... Either way, it doesn't matter. Be grateful that you woke up in time. The instructor does not tolerate excuses. We both know what she thinks of your gift, so... Why does everyone call attention to my gift? Everyone's got a gift. What's the problem? Well, it's different, Raylan. Even here, we like privacy. Well, what about you, then? Do you ever get worried that I could be watching you at any given moment? She can't help but let out a laugh at that. You're my friend, so I trust that you're not, like, peeping on me. But I'd love to see you naked. Of course, friends respect each other. This is Uh, of course, Gwen. <laughs> Friends totally respect each other. Yeah, exactly. Kara doesn't like to be watched. Or the idea of being watched. Oh, what makes you say that? I've been here long enough to see her paranoia. It is true. She seems to be always looking over her shoulder. I guess it's just normal behavior for her, though. I will not talk of you far seeing in your sleep. She's paranoid enough already. Okay, I appreciate it, Gwen. Friends look after each other, Raylan. Excuse me, I will not be training. More paperwork, you know. I'll see you later, Rylan. Okay, until next time, Gwen. Each garrison needs a bookkeeper, someone to keep track of records, supplies, and other essentials needed for maintaining proper function. That's where Gwen comes in. She comes from a more scholarly background compared to the other novices, so she's being trained in other duties as well. She always happens to be she also happens to be Kira's favorite since she's willing to deal with paper. Kira hates paper. Anyway, I better get to training before Kira decides that I'm on cleaning duty. Doot to doots, doot to doots. Ah, training grounds. It's another bright and scorching day. I can just tell we're going to be working hard. Kira especially likes working us to the bone during summer. I can understand the logic behind it, but I can't say I enjoy days like these. Kira couldn't look happier about it, though. Look alive, novices. It's a beautiful day for training. Oh, there's nothing like working up a sweat underneath a blazing- Oh, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing like working up a sweat underneath a blazing sun. No one dares to complain at the idea. Not even one groan of complaint. Your discipline is getting much better, my novices. Now then, you'd better get off to work. If I'm not seeing sweat by the end of this exercise, you're going to be training until dusk. There's no doubt she'll see it. We're training in full armor today. We'll practically be cooked alive, but there's no escaping it. We just grit our teeth and bear with it. Kira does not believe in mercy when it comes to training. As she wanders off, I try to focus on my training. Oh, do I let my mind wander? Uh, yeah, I think that's in my nature. Though I try to focus on the task at hand, my mind wanders off. I wish I were garrisoned right at the entrance of the capital so I could dispatch the foul things at our gates. At least we're close to the castle. At least I can see the Empress's place from here. Back in my homelands, the most impressive building was the communal hall. You could fit a thousand communal halls inside that castle, maybe tens of thousands. Ardina, our proud Empress, rules from that castle as well. Ardina, the name which so many people sing praise of in this capital. I've tried to do some far-seeing inside that palace before, but I'm never able to see a clear vision of what's inside there. Something about the castle stops me from being able to far-see. Maybe the councilmen don't like others spying on their affairs. Better get back to training before Kira calls me out of my daydreaming. Fortunately, her attention is focused elsewhere. You there, novice. Ah, uh, yes, instructor? Show me your striking. The novice gives it her best shot on the training dummy, creating an audible thud. Not bad. You'll need to work on it. Ah, uh, yes, instructor. Leaving behind the novice, Kira begins to look out for more people to chastise. Fortunately, I get back to striking my target before she looks at me. I do get tired of striking these wooden dolls every day. I wish I had a more dynamic opponent to fight, rather than one that sits there and just takes your hits. But again, we're novices. We won't get to see actual combat for years. As I strike the dummy on the shoulder, a thunderous yell is directed at me. Raylan, do you call that striking? Put more strength into it. Those things out there will be merciless. You must not hesitate to fight with the every last bit of your strength. I wish they would show me these creatures instead of merely lecturing me on how dangerous they are. Every single time, it's the same rant as before. But I just gotta do my best and bear with it, for the sake of my old homelands and my mother, wherever she may be right now. 
Switching hands, I take my wooden mace and slam it into the dummy's head. Much to my delight, I hear the sound of cracking wood as the blow sinks into the head. How about that, instructor? Now that is much more like it, Raylan. When you eventually get to the walls, I want to see you crack some skulls just like that. Come on now, you can't tell me that you've only had one good strike in you. Show me another strike. I let loose with another attack, this time aiming for the dummy's shoulder. To my disappointment, it does literally nothing. That wasn't what I was hoping for. Oh, that wasn't what I was hoping for! <laughs> oh, well that's why you're training. You're going to need more than one good hit in a fight. So keep on practicing your striking. We'll make a fine warrior out of you yet. If we can curb your far-seeing habit, even better. My instructor fully knows what I tend to get up to in my spare in time. Having the gift of far-seeing makes everyone suspicious of you. It's not fair. It's not my fault that I enjoy seeing people in their intimate moments. Stop accusing me of things I may or may not have done. I'm not saying I totally have, but like, it's, uh... So you're admitting you may have been peeking somewhere you weren't meant to. Again. Looks like she caught me. Whoops. I gotta shut my mouth. Sounds like you're wanting to push the boulder today. She always threatens us with the boulder, but I've yet to see anyone actually do it. From what I've heard, the boulder is the worst punishment you can get. The novice who is punished in this way has to push a boulder up and down a hill for the entire day. It's so infamous amongst the knights of the capital that pushing the boulder has become a phrase for saying severe punishment. But I'm not worried. She always threatens it, but it never seems to actually happen. Stop standing there with that look on your face. Do you really think I won't do it? I don't think she would, but it'd be a good idea to get back to training anyway. I return to striking at the wooden dummy, which causes Kira to smile in approval. That's more like it. More strength. The harder you hit it now, the stronger you will become later. She turns her back to me to speak to the other novices. Each and every one of you is important, so you must do your best to train, to become strong. Some of you have lost your homes before you came here. You should know what it's like to be helpless before an enemy. So, you would understand why you must become strong, to protect those you love, to protect the land you love. And most importantly, to protect the empire you love. Did I have to push the boulder? Oh no! Sun reaches its zenith by the time we finish our striking training. I'm practically dying for a drink right now. Anything to wet my parched throat. Despite our suffering, Kira seems to be aglow with pride. Good work today, novices. I don't think I saw a single one of you who wasn't sweating. Since you've done so well, I'm allowing you to take the rest of the day off. Just remember not to do anything stupid. I probably will! I think everyone's too afraid of Kira to risk her wrath. No other garrison in the city has a more domineering instructor than her. As such, this one in particular is known for being one of the most shining examples of discipline. Before I leave, Kira flashes a, ter a terrifying look at me. It's obvious she's telling me she doesn't want me doing any far-seeing. I don't even know what else there is to do with my spare time. What else am I supposed to do except look at naked ladies? We rarely get any time to go outside the barracks. This is my life now. Day after day, training in that same courtyard, waiting to eventually become a knight. I never get any time to myself. Didn't used to be this way, but things changed, as they always do. The world has become a very dark place in the last century. As bleak as it looks now, none of us are willing to give up. Especially not now. As I leave, that novice from before quickly passes by me. Uh, I'll say something to her, why not? Hey, you did really well today. Well, thank you. Just don't spy on me when you're far seeing, because I've heard you do that. Now she's accusing me of spying on her? You know I don't actually do that, right? Well, yeah, of course you'd say that. Don't you think it's a bit unfair to make presumptions like that? Uh, no, not really. She doesn't seem interested in conversation. I don't even bother to say anything more as she walks off. Just gotta work out what I'm gonna do with my free time now. Doopity doops. After the training session, it occurs to me I should apologize to Kira. Gwyn is right about her being paranoid, so the best thing I can do for her is put her at ease. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop. There are just too many secrets I gotta know! I knock on her door loudly. Kira, are you in there? I gotta speak with you, maybe. Mm, I get the feeling we're gonna see some, some stuff if I just walk in. Slowly, I begin to open up the door. Kira, I... Oh, she's just holding her boobs. It's like, hold on, I'm, I'm trying to hold these giant boobs. Man, she's got big old ones. As I walk in, Kira stares at me indignantly. She clings to her chest, a last-ditch attempt at retaining her modesty. 
Ah, oh, she got rid of her weird nylon stuff. She's removed other parts of her armor, too, leaving her largely exposed. Her hands barely cover it, though. Her chest practically spills around them. I almost lose my composure as I feel my cheeks burning. Her face is bright red, too. She's embarrassed, but doing her best to conceal it. I rack my mind, trying to think of something to say instead of leaving the room, which is really what I should do. Sorry, I, uh, I didn't know you were getting dressed, um... She shakes her head at me. The motion causes her chest to quake. First of all, Raylan... Only a poor soldier comes up with an excuse for their shortcomings. Second of all, don't barge into somewhere just because they don't answer the door. She's handling this a lot better than I thought she would. She crosses her arms in front of her, unintentionally squeezing her chest. You still don't have any manners at all. You think you would have learned some by now. But isn't apologizing having good manners, maybe? She glares at me then, obviously not amused. That's only one part of having good manners. It's the other parts you should be thinking about. She can't help but sigh. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. For real. I'm super sorry. Please don't punish me. Please, please, please. I don't like the idea of having to push the boulder today. I'm tired enough already. I'm afraid I can't do that. Mark my words, novice. You are going to be disciplined for this. You're going to have to learn to respect the privacy of others. I like that the longer this is up on the screen, the more ridiculous it looks. <laughs> She walks toward me awkwardly, trying her best not to let her hands slip. She stops when she's standing right in front of me. When I'm up this close to her, I can't help but notice the abundance of stuff. I'd look away, but it's like right there. It's just right there in my face. Are you looking at something, Raylan? Uh-oh. She noticed. She noticed that I was far-seeing right into her boobies. Nothing! Nope! Nothing at all, Instructor! She shakes her head again. Shifting her arms, she manages to conceal her chest with one arm and uses the other to push me out of the office. I'm afraid you'll have to come back later. We can talk about your punishment at another time. For now, just get out. Whoops. Looked right into the boobs. My afternoon passed by in a blur. When every day is the same as the last one, it becomes hard to keep track of time. These days just seem to spill- Am I just like- Everybody else is asleep and I'm just standing like, huh. I like to think that my ability literally is just daydreaming. Like, I'm not actually looking at anybody getting undressed or getting nudie. I'm just, like, thinking about it a lot. And they're like, that is a, a bad skill you've got there. Thinking about naked ladies. And I'm like, ah, ah. The days just seem to spill into each other. You never notice where one ends and another begins. It's only because of the cycle of the sun and the moon that I keep my bearings. Maybe it's time to do some far-seeing. I'm thinking about... What Kira is doing or what Gwyn is doing? Well, we were, we peeped on Kira before. Uh oh. Well, you don't do it to friends. We already established that. Of course, I wouldn't look at Gwyn. <laughs> Gwyn doesn't sleep with the rest of the barracks most days. She's often up late running errands around town. Part of her job means that she's got a lot more freedom than the rest of us do. So I wonder. Wh I like that I'm slowly inching the side. I wonder what she could be doing right now. Touching the boobies, focusing my mind. I picture my body as a puppet on strings. All I need to do is release the strings and I can wander as a spirit. <gasps> That's what I'm doing, huh? Gwyn, where's Gwyn? Oh my gosh, I just like, <laughs> I literally like get into people's business and they don't know. That's so messed up. Where's Gwyn? Eventually an image begins to form in front of my eyes. Why is there so much steam? Oh, that's why. Is she taking a booby bath? As my vision clears, I just, I have an excuse. I have an excuse to make boob jokes for an entire game, so I'm going to use it. As my vision clears up a bit more, I have to stop to fully take in the scene before me. Oh, uh, they got rid of the nips. Where are the nips at? Maybe her skill is not having nips. A very content looking and nude Gwyn is relaxing in a boiling hot bath. Her delicate body laid bare for me to see. Though I'm no longer in my body, I know for certain my face is red right now. She looks absolutely relaxed in there, allowing herself to slip further and further down and- <laughs> Fly just fell- <laughs> it fell into my mouth, it just like ran into my- okay. What are you doing? I'm trying to- I'm looking at a naked lady, why you gotta fly in my mouth? That's messed up. Get out of here. Okay, we got rid of the fly. He was just sitting on my- he was just- he ran into my mouth and then was just sitting on my desk, like, waiting for me to respond. Okay, anyways. Allowing herself to slip further and further down into the steaming water, her delicate hands move over every part of her body. She's thoroughly cleaning herself from head to toe. 
Oh, this is always the best after a long day. It's so soothing from my muscles. I swear, the cramps I get in my hands from having to do so much writing. <laughs> she looks down at her hands as she says that, but nothing cures them quite like a hot bath. Lazily, she stops slouching in the bath and puts her head over its edge, pushing her chest right up against it. Excuse me, can I get my coal on the fire? It's starting to get a little cold. She smiles as the steam grows thick around her. In fact, it's so thick it begins to obscure my view. That's much better. Resettling into her previous position, every move causes her whole body to jaggle. I don't think I've ever seen her this happy while she was at the barracks. She's practically purring with delight. There's plenty of work waiting for me, but I should just enjoy this moment. She leans back, allowing her fingertips to drag across her body. She stops at her chest, allowing her hands to clasp them, giving her breasts a healthy squeeze. Grow a little bit more every day! <laughs> As she says that, she smiles to herself. She lets go of her chest, <laughs> returning to sinking. I'm just realizing I'm ruining this character for somebody. Somebody was like, wow, she's super hot. <laughs> and then I used that voice and they were like, oh no. <laughs> returning to sinking into the steaming water. Flipping over, she exposes her back to the open air. She leans forward onto her chest, allowing it to spill out. A small, content sigh escapes her lips. She lies there for a while before sitting back up. With one limp arm, she reaches over the side of the bath and grabs a book. It doesn't have any title on the cover, but it's a very ancient-looking tome. She turns page after page with her delicate fingertips. Eventually, she gets out, water streaming down her body. She looks thoroughly pleased. That was excellent. I suppose I have to get back soon. She becomes a little sad as she says that. But I'll be back soon, Bath. Don't worry, Bath. Stay hot for me. Well, that was unexpected. But I can't say I didn't enjoy it. Spying on people at this hour just doesn't feel right. Or does it? It's fine. I do it all the time. <laughs> no, you shouldn't do that to friends. It's messed up. <laughs> it's fine. I do it all the time. It's fine. Nobody needs to know. La 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 la. The late hours of the day are when people are their most vulnerable, and I'm into that. This is when their darkest thoughts and fears come to the surface. Using my gift for such trivial reasons would get me a thorough scolding from Kira. I'm reminded constantly that it's a boon from our creator, a powerful and precious boon. To misuse it would be disrespectful to not only the people around me, but to the creator. I never d did believe in that creation nonsense. Sure, I don't have any explanation for why I'm able to see far and distant places all the way from the barracks, but... I find it hard to believe that a god, which I've never seen or heard any evidence of, is the one who's responsible for it, especially after everything that's happened to us. Then again, so little in this world makes sense. I've heard that the Empress Ardina is supposed to be thousands of years old. For every single one of those years, she's been ruling from that castle. She does not have a gift, as far as I know. There are other powers of this world that can be exploited, I think. I can't help but smile when I think of her legends. She's still as beautiful as she was hundreds of years ago, they told me. Her legends and tales have been retold throughout our empire for as long as I can remember. My own mother used to read them to me every night before I went to sleep. I'd dream of being a great heroine myself, protecting my loved ones and the vulnerable people of our lands. As nostalgic as I am about those times, they were also times of fear. We never knew when they would raid or where they would attack from. We never knew what exactly would attack us either. I don't think we ever saw the same monsters twice. Each one of them was twisted in a completely different way. What they used to be before the sickness took them is anyone's guess. No one seems to want to admit that they exist either. They just hide deeper and deeper inside their fortresses and hope the problem will go away. I, of all people, know that they won't go away. They won't stop until we're all dead. One day, they may get past the walls. I need to be ready for that day. Everyone needs to be ready. For the moment, the best thing I can do is prepare to try and get some sleep. I've been sitting up for long enough thinking to myself and spying on people. To bed with me, lol. <laughs> 